morning, welcome. Thank you very much for joining. <laughs> I just went to lean on the table and my elbow fell off. That wasn't a good start, was it? Good morning, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everybody's well, that's better. It is time for, I was going to say monthly favourites, but it's not quite monthly favourites because by the time you see this, it'll be almost halfway through February, I think. I feel like monthly. I intended to do favourites mostly because I love a bloody favourites video and I love to watch them just as much as create them. So because they're my favourites to watch, I guess I quite enjoy making them as well. Um, I just love all the recommendations you get from a favourites video and they're all about the positives, aren't they? Which is lovely. But I intended to do them sort of every month this year, but every month always feels a bit forced. It feels... I don't know, a little bit too, there's not enough time in a month to gather enough favourites, I don't think, for a video. So, I think I'm going to do them maybe once every two, six weeks to two months. So this is going to be January stroke February favourites, this video. So I'm also going to split them into categories this year. I've done that always, so, but um, more officially, I guess. So I've got beauty, entertainment, which covers... TV, films, books, and podcasts today. Um, home, fashion, and food, I think. Yes, food. Um, so that's the categories we will have. We might have more categories if I have other things to talk about, but that's what we've got today. And without further ado, let's just jump on into it. I've got my cup of coffee. You might want to get one as well. Today I've got my llama and toucan mug which is from tesco's which has got sunshine and lovely bright colors and just makes me feel happy um let's start let's talk beauty i haven't got loads in the way of beauty but the things i have got i very much like the first one i'm going to get the expensive one out of the way first i needed a new pressed powder i've talked about this a little bit i think and this one had been on my radar and sort of on my wish list for a while. So I bought it. It's the Laura Mercier um, Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 1. And this is what it looks like. This is expensive. This is £33 full price, which sounds a lot for a purse powder, doesn't it? But I absolutely adore this. That's what it looks like. That's how it swatches. It, it, it's a pressed powder. It's not exciting, you know, but something about this on the skin, I just feel like it gives me this glow that it just, it just does something to your skin that no other pressed powder I've ever tried does to my skin. Um, and I absolutely love it. And I always hate record, not hate, but I get more joy from recommending products that are good value for money um, on the cheaper end of the scale just because it's great to find something that does the job for not very much money but I have to say this is going to become a staple in my um, makeup drawer I think I can't imagine being without it now so yes it's very expensive but, but it's going to be one that I will save my boots up boots points up for also it is quite big that's what it looks it's so that it's, it comes up quite high out I've been using this ever since I got it beginning of the month uh, or beginning of January and there's no dip in it at all yet so I feel like it will last well I'll let you know um how well it lasts anyway but yeah there's just something about this powder that is just glorious love to find a cheaper dupe for that but um that's my first one also i should say which i always forget at the beginning is that i will li list everything that i talk about today in the description box with links so if you want any more information it will all be down there right next in beauty this little thing surprised me. This came in a glossy box or a rocker box or so. I think it was a glossy box actually. And it is the, that's what it looks like. It's by the brand Mine or Mean. Don't know why I want to change that to Mean. It's by the brand Mine. Um, and it is a hydrating face and body tan mist. It's a spray. It's a see-through spray. It's um, cucumber flavoured apparently or scented 
and I've just been using this after my skincare in the morning just as a spritz directly onto my face and neck and decolletage as they say um, just to give me a little bit of colour it's this time of year you're so pasty aren't you and it's been lovely it, I think it washes off I don't think it's a tan that grow um what's the word not a pa permanent is that I'm, I'm not a self tan person so i don't know the wording but um yeah this is not a permanent one or one that lasts i think it washes off in the evening but i really like it it just gives me an it sort of healthier look a healthier color you know than you get in these winter months so i really like this i looked it up i think the full size one is um 12.99 so i think i am going to buy that after um i finish this little sample size one so yeah very much enjoyed that uh, the final one i'm pleased to say it's very good value for money one it's an avon hand cream um it's the radiant rose water and shea butter hand cream that's what it looks like my hands have been so so dry the last couple of months in fact i'm going to put some on while i talk to you um and this is one of the only hand creams that seems to have had a discernible difference i've been lathering my lathering my hands in slathering even my hands in hand cream and they haven't done an awful lot or a lot of them don't feel as though they've done an awful lot at all but this one feels very nourishing it's not sticky and tacky it soaks in well and um, it's good value for money as well so you don't feel bad about using lots and lots of it so yeah i've been enjoying that very much right the next category is entertainment let's start with tv i've been watching a lot of tv over the last six weeks or so since new year and it's that time of year isn't it those those cozy homey winter months when you don't go out much we did dry january so we didn't want to do too much socializing and um yeah we, we just had a lot of time at home and it was lovely and i've got some tv recommendations for you the first one was ashley and i watched together was the tourist which is a six-part sort of mystery thriller type series with Jamie Dornan in the lead role role on this available on iPlayer and it's set in Australia and it was really good we both really enjoyed it, it had a really good storyline kept you guessing um he, he's a guy who loses his memory and it, it sort of goes back and forth in time figuring out what happened and there's lots of twists and turns and sort of surprising moments and the, and the setting in the Australian outback was lovely the um hot weather and um, just, just the general scenery and everything was very good as well so we enjoyed that um I have watched Emily in Paris the second season on Netflix I guess a lot of you probably will have as well just a really nice sort of, oh that was the cat flap <laughs> um, just a really nice easy watching um sort of comedy drama so it's comedy series dra comedy drama i think um you'd probably describe that as but just just really nice and easy watching and light-hearted and entertaining and pretty to look at and there goes ron behind me um i also watched the second season of cheer that was a nice surprise when that came out it's about a cheerleading um competition in america and um i loved the first season and i binge watched this season it was nine parts over a weekend a wet rainy weekend in january and just loved it so interesting and entertaining and um yeah the characters are not characters real people but um yeah just just really good i enjoyed that very much ashley and i also watched um afterlife the third season um i am still of the opinion that the first season of afterlife was absolutely sublime perfection in television and that it probably should have stopped there but you you can't blame ricky gervais for um, taking the money and making another couple of seasons but the first season was just tv perfection to me and um the other two seasons I, i'm glad i watched them and there were moments of brilliance but, but brilliance no probably not um yeah the first season was the best watch the first season don't worry too much about the second season and the third season let me know your thoughts on that be interested in other people's thoughts on that one um and ashley and i've also watched um ozark the latest season of in fact it's half a season i think it's season four and it's part season four part one has just been released on netflix we've just finished that um 
uh, it, again very much enjoyed that I, I feel like the writing in Ozark is so good and it still has those super shocking moments the final episode we watched last night absolutely super shocking moment towards the end I won't say anything else in case you haven't watched it don't want to do spoilers but um yeah, that, that I can't wait for the second half of season four now. And the thing that I watched that's worth a watch, um, I think it only came out last week, is The Tinder Swindler on Netflix. Two hour sort of, sort of documentary um, about a guy, a sort of catfish situation, a guy who, a real internet con man who conned women through Tinder, the dating site, and the story of him. And shocking and really, it's sort of like car crash viewing, one of those things. When you go past a car crash and you can't resist looking. It's a bit like that, car crash type viewing. But um, yeah, shocking, sort of um, jaw dropping stuff. The sun keeps going in and out and I'm aware the light's changing, so I apologize for that. Right, I need to speed it up a bit. We've only done two sections and we're 12 minutes in. Um, films, just a couple to recommend. Um, Escape from Pretoria, which we watched. Um, Ashley and I do a regular weekly film night. We did this, it was when Will was still here actually, because he watched it with us. And it's uh, based on a real story set in a South African prison and the story of two men, actually more than that, um, escaping from there. And um, very good, very watchable. And uh, just the way they escape, just so ingenious and clever. Um, the other film that I watched that was recommended by someone else here on YouTube was Promising Young Woman. Um, I should probably say trigger warning for domestic violence and rape scenes um, with that one. It's a revenge thriller, I guess you'd call it. It's quite sad as well, actually. Um, it's about a girl whose best friend was killed and... Um, she becomes a bit of a vigilante um, and goes on the hunt for predatory men to expose them and scare them and stop them from doing that. And I don't want to say too much more about that, but um, real shocking ending as well, that film. And it's the type of film that I did enjoy it. it I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was brilliant. And um, it really made you think it was a film that I was still thinking about a few days later. And I, I always think that's the sign of quite a good um, piece of entertainment, a book or a film or TV or anything that makes you really think. And you're still, um, you know, still going around in your mind a few days later. Um, books. I won't talk too much about books because I have a library hall video sit with some book recommendations waiting to be edited that I filmed a couple of weeks ago and I just haven't yet got round to editing. Um, but I will recommend one book which was The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish. She is fast becoming one of my favourite authors. I think her writing is absolutely brilliant. She draws me in and in this book she wrote in the first person as a man and it was so believable and um, you almost forgot it was a woman writing, well you did forget it was a woman writing from a man's point of view. It was so believable and a twisty, turny, psychological thriller. Um, really, really good set in London. Um, about two couples um, who become friends and um, I don't know how much more of that than I can say but it's just a really good but it's um, yeah I don't want to spoil anything but um, yes I highly recommend that one I'll link that one below as well. Um, moving on to podcasts um, I've done a couple of long journeys this month and I like to listen to podcasts in the car and I've got two to recommend to you. The first one is Postcards from Midlife, which is really good. It's two middle-aged women, um, Lorraine Candy and Trish Halpin, who are both uh, magazine journalists here in the UK, quite um, many years of editing the glossies between them, I think. And um, they talk about everything for midlife women, family, home, menopause, um, work, work-life balance, all of those things. And, and they also have lots of interesting guests on. I listened to one a couple of weeks ago where they had Marion Keys, the author on, which was really interesting. And they've got quite a big back catalogue as well. So there's plenty of episodes to get your teeth into. So um, the other podcast that I've been really enjoying is um, Two Teas in a Pod. Um, 
that if you like the real you'd have to like the real housewives for this it is a podcast start stop that nah, nah, nah. <laughs> can't speak started by two t's tamara judge who used to be on the real housewives of orange county and teddy mellencamp who used to be on the real housewives of beverly hills and they talk about all things real housewives they're very gossipy they again have guests on there Vicky Gumvelson from The Real Housewives in one episode and they also talk about what's happening in the current seasons of the various Real Housewives franchises as well so if you are a Housewives fan that is well worth a listen as well. The next section on my favourites is home and I have two things to talk about. The first one is this. I was influenced by this by who was it? It might have been Laura Joanna Jarvis I think it's brilliant it's a little mini chopper and i use it to chop onions and chilies i when i chop, chop chilies we eat quite a lot of spicy food and when i chop chilies i can't tell you how many times even if i wash my hands and a couple of hours later i rub my eye it gets stingy from the chili left on my hands and i hate it absolutely hate it and so when i saw this i thought I want one of those. I have got an electric chopper, but getting out an electric chopper to chop a chili feels a bit much, you know, all the bits together. And it just So this is just perfect. It's just a bowl, a blade, and a lid. And then you just pull the string, which makes the blade go round. And it chops up. You chop your onion into about three or four or five pieces pop it in there or your chilli into a few pieces it doesn't chop the chilli really fine that's okay I don't mind um, sort of more chunky chilli so if you want to do it really fine it, this wouldn't be the the thing for you but it chops onion perfectly um chunk and chop the chilli chunkily <laughs> don't say that when you've had a drink um and it, it, it just is so good um it saves so much time as well it's literally three or four pulls and your onion is chopped or your chili is chopped and it stops you getting chili juice in your eyes be good came from amazon it's like 10 pound or something i think we'll link it below the other home thing is um again i was influenced my mum was telling me that my sister-in-law had on her dining table this beautiful spring display and she told me about it and I thought oh that sounds lovely I want to have a spring display as well so I'll pop a photo in here I made myself up a little spring display and I'm sitting looking here because it's down here on the table um, I can't lift it up to show well you don't need me to lift it up to show you because you can see it in the photo but um, I'm so pleased with how this turned out the little wicker tray came from the range if i can find it i'll link it in the description box the ivy came from the range um what else i've got the little spring sign which goes into it which is here that came from ebay i'll link that below as well and um, the jug i had already the flowers were from marks and spencers i've actually bought some growing daffodils and hyacinths to replace when when the uh, these flowers have died i'm going to replace them with the growing ones in the actual growing pots i think that would be nice and um, then i got the little beads the little glass beads from the range as well so and i've got a little candle in there as well and i've got this which is a light up i'm not sure you can see that that lights up it's got all holes in it and it lights up i've had that in my bedroom up till now and i decided to put that in there as well and then i've got another um faux candle with a flickery light as well that lights up and just looks so pretty and so spring-like and it's just made me really happy that this month I don't know why let's move on to fashion I haven't really got a lot to talk to you about fashion wise I haven't been buying much I haven't been going anywhere much I'm about to buy myself a new evening dress for next month's cruise but that's another story that'll be next month's favorites um I think my favourite fashion item of the month was my red new look dress, which you saw in my new look try on haul um, last week, the week before. I don't know when this will go up, so I don't know when that will have been, but I'll pop a picture in here and I'll pop a link in the description box. I wore it to go out to dinner with friends on Saturday night and got so many compliments, which was lovely, and I felt really nice in it. And it wasn't expensive, I think it was £20, so um, 
yeah very much like that and it's a nice lightweight one that I can dress down a bit you know you can dress up for winter with the knee-high boots and the tights and dress down a bit in the summer so um, it's a good layering multi-seasonal dress that one I'm pleased with it the final section is food should be food and drink really because I've got a drink to show you and this I've been having this every morning with my breakfast it's the innocent citrus shield juice um, it has orange carrot mandarin lemon ginger and vitamins in it and it supports your immunity um, I should probably be making this myself but I haven't got a juicer and it's a lot less faff to buy it isn't it let's be perfectly honest a lot less faff and a lot quicker and it is delicious it's really nice it's good the ginger gives it just a little kick and um, it's good for me so that's good i very much like it they do a green one as well which i sometimes swap it out for i can't remember what the green one is but that's nice as well blue one not so much not big into the blue one but this one i very much like that's my favorite that is it that is it for january and february favorites um let me know what you've been doing if you've got any tv recommendations for me let me know we always we've now we've finished ozark i don't know what we're going to watch next actually so um let me know on the TV recommendations um, and also anything else you'd like to recommend. I have a whole list in Google Keep of um, all things that my viewers recommend to me and I really enjoy trying them out. So, um, yes, let me know. Right, hope you've enjoyed that. hope that was useful. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.